One thing that really makes a car look its age is foggy yellow headlights. And to be fair, the visibility is not great either. And the TT's headlights are just that. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna get the headlights off and I'm gonna show you exactly how to refurb them so they're nice and clear again. And then we'll put some nice white bulbs in to make it look that little bit newer so it takes the age off the car and your visibility is a lot better at night. But before we get to it, I just wanna say a huge thank you to each and every one of you because the channel has just gone over a thousand subscribers and I couldn't be more grateful. So thanks for tuning in, liking, subscribing, commenting and interacting with the videos because it means a lot to me and it means we can grow the channel and I can give you better, longer and more content in the future. So let's get these headlights off and begin the refurb process. And yes, I have a garage, but I'm still working in a gazebo. But you gotta do what you gotta do. In the end, the headlight was held on with four bolts. There's one right down there, one right in the corner that I almost forgot about, and then those two at the top. Just realised that one there, you don't actually need to take out, so I was wrong with that. So you can leave that one in. That one needs to come out. That one needs to be loosened off so the headlight slides forward, and that one needs to be loosened off so the headlight slides forward, and then it's off. So to do the job, what you're going to need is some 2K clear coat. I always use the Pro XL 2K clear because you get good results with that. You'll need some wet and dry sandpaper. I'm going to start from a 600 grit, working way up to an 800, and maybe a 1000, depending on how the headlights go, because they're not too bad. But if your headlights are terrible, then I'd suggest using a 400 grit first, and then do a 600, and then maybe an 8. Then I'm going to use some isopropyl rubbing alcohol to make sure the headlights are nice and clean before we spray them, and some masking tape to protect the tops of the headlights. And if you're doing it on the car, then I'd highly recommend you mask off the area around it so you don't ruin the paint and end up with an overspray all over your bonnet and your bumper, because no one wants that. And you'll need a spray bottle with some water in it. Because when doing this, you need to make sure your headlights stay wet as you're sanding, so you don't end up with any deep scores or grooves in the lens. And you use using wet and dry sandpaper, it's what it's for. So you need to make sure the headlights stay nice and wet whilst you're sanding them down. So now you've got everything you need, let's get straight to it. So, get your headlight lens. The first thing we'll do is give it a quick wipe over. Spray it with some water, make sure to get it nice and wet because you don't want it going in dry like I said in the intro. And then you'll take your roughest grain, which for me will be 600 grit. So you get your 600 wet and dry. Rip a bit off. And then you'll wet your sandpaper. Make sure that's nice and wet as well. Go back over the lens and then just begin sanding it down. And you'll see as you're sanding, all that comes off will look like a milky colour. That's all the this tarnishing over the years coming off with the sandpaper and that's exactly what you're looking for. So we'll do a few passes with that until it's nice and smooth and then work your way up. Make sure to evenly sand everywhere. Don't leave anywhere out. Now get some cloth or a rag Wipe the headlight and you'll see you'll have like a nice dull finish. That's kind of what you're looking for. And we'll work our way up with the sandpaper, unless you need to go over it again. If you do, give it another pass with your 600 and then just keep going. So I'm going to give it one more go. They've still got imperfections. Best piece of sandpaper. Get that nice and wet. Now I've done my 600 grit pass, I'll do it again with the 800 grit and then clean the lens down and we can get ready to spray it. So now you can see the lens has got a fog on it but it is all white. Would you call that white? Yeah. It's all one nice clean colour anyway so once you spray over that with the spray paint. The 2K clear coat will fill all the tiny little grooves off the sandpaper and leave you with a nice clean clear finish. It'll make your headlights look brand new. So now I'll crack on with the other one and then we'll come back for the next step. So now that your headlights are both sanded down, the next thing you're going to want to do is take your isopropyl alcohol and ideally you'd use a lymph-free rag for this, but I haven't got any. So I'm going to use a normal cloth and then go over it with a tack cloth before the sprayer just to get all the bits off the end of the lenses. So just get your isopropyl alcohol on your cloth or your rag 
and give your lenses a really good clean. You can already see that they're going fairly clear just off the alcohol. You see it slowly evaporate and your lenses will go foggy again. So once you're happy that your lenses are clear, you want to get your 2K clear coat. And to do this, you need to pull the bottom off and you'll see a little pull tab. In the cap, there's a ring. Get the ring around that, pull it, and then give it a really good shake up. So take the little metal ring, thread it through the hole on the pull tab in the top of the can, and then give it a pull. And what that does is that releases the mixing agent with the paint because this dries like an epoxy, so you need to make sure that that's fully mixed before you start spraying, otherwise it won't go down properly and it probably won't dry. Now give it a shake. So now the headlights are just drying and you already look a lot better, even while the paint's still wet. That goes with both of them. So now we'll let them fully dry and then we'll fit them back to the car, but I'd highly recommend you give it at least 24 hours to let the paint fully cure so it's nice and hard. So when you're putting them back on the car, you don't put fingerprints on them or smudge the paint or just ruin the finish in general. If you can't afford to do that, then if you are going to fit them while they're still a bit tacky, be very careful. And I wouldn't recommend driving after the fact because you'll probably get stuff stuck to them. So now it's just a waiting game. So while we're on the subject of lights, one thing we can do actually is... I bought some new LED interior lights to get rid of those old orange ones. And again, just to help to make the car look a little bit newer. So while we've got the time, we might as well fit them. So to fit these lights is fairly simple. Just get a screwdriver or a pry tool underneath the edge. Pry it down. Try not to scratch the lights or damage the light itself on the inside. You'll see it slowly just comes forward because it's just on clips. And then you pull that down, that's off. And then there's one bulb and there's the other. Just pull them out like so and pop your new ones in. So the new ones are pretty much the same as the old ones. They're just LEDs and hopefully they'll be white and a lot brighter than the old ones. So you just push the new ones in the place. You can already see they're coming on and they're a lot brighter. And now get your cover back on. So now they're fitted and they look a lot better than the old dingy orange ones. So while the lights are still drying a bit, one thing we'll do just to speed up the process is... I bought these new 200% brighter headlight bulbs just to replace the old orange ones. So the lights are a little bit more white, your visibility is a lot better and again, it looks newer. So we might as well fit them while they're out the car because it'll be so much easier than trying to get your hands in while they're in. Fitting new headlight bulbs to the Audi TT's headlight while it's off is easy. Just pull that up. Pull this down, get it out of your way, pull your connector off. It's nice to see someone's already been in and butchered these lights. But then all you need to do with this tab here is press it in, pull it down, and then it will release. Swing back, pull your old headlight out, get your new bulb out the box. And you'll see there's a little tab on the bottom that goes in that gap there on the bottom. You turn it around. Don't touch the bulb because any imperfections on the bulb will burn into the glass and you don't want that. And then just get that in, tab in the bottom, just like the reverse of fitting it, press it in, push it up, that's in tight, get your clip back on. And then get your cap over and click it close and that's it, done. So now the headlights are dry enough for us to actually touch them and manoeuvre them, we can put them back on the car, gently, and we can see what these new bulbs look like with the refreshed lenses. So the headlights are now finished and fitted to the car. And I think they just look a lot better than they used to. Don't get me wrong, they're by no means perfect, but they're a lot better than they were, and they should work a lot better than they did. But like the rest of the car, it's not perfect. There are still imperfections, but slowly, slowly making it better. And I never expected to get a perfect finish because one, it's a windy day, two, it's a DIY job, three, it's a rattle can, and four, it's me. But I'm still very happy with how they turned out, and I do think they look a whole lot better. And they do take a little bit of the age off the car now that they're clear and not yellow. But that's going to be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed the content. And if you do choose to take a crack at it yourself and do your own headlights, hopefully they turn out a little bit better than mine, but anything was better than mine were. So 
Thank you very much for watching. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you get an update every time I post and I'll see you in the next one.